Hello guys, this is TechWiz. I'm here with the Wasabi batteries for the what camera? The Canon T5i. What other camera? That's the only camera I have that Wasabi makes batteries for. Other than the GoPro that I don't, I'm going to get the GoPro Wasabi batteries. If you didn't know that, then you probably should subscribe to my channel. Not to advertise or myself or anything, but um, the thing prior to picking up this was the car charger. Car charger. One end plugs into your cigarette lighter in your car, and the other end plugs into the charger. I will show you that port in a second. Um, there's words on here. I will explain what all that is in, later in the video. And the prongs are on the back. I kind of like that better than the Canon charger because then I don't have to lug around the cord with me. I just have to take just the block. So. I don't know. It depends on what you guys like. If you like the Canon charger, take that with you. If you like the Wasabi one, buy it. It's really cheap. 20 bucks. Amazon. Check it out now. The uh, European adapter was what I just showed before. I'm not going to connect that because I don't live in England. So, on to the batteries themselves. They come in a slightly darker orange cap than the actual Canon battery. Not the, uh, I don't know, I'm OCD, so that kind of bothers me. But, I don't know. Yeah, you probably won't care. and probably won't notice either. But, it, it's nice that they come with a cap because it shows that they're actually quality batteries and that they took the time to design them conveniently and well they didn't just throw it all together like some other no name batteries out on Amazon such as uh, I'm not trying to trash any brands out there right now but I think one of the other brands I saw was Fotiv and it didn't appear to come with a cap like the Wasabi batteries now if you read your Canon battery and you read the Wasabi batteries then you saw that these have a slightly larger milliamp, and that's true. They will last for slightly longer, but if you're filming, that won't really make that much of a difference to you, so you'll just have to plop in another battery. So, once you plug it into the charger, you're going to notice one thing first. When you try to pull it out, this is probably going to happen. And no, you didn't break it. It's just uh, a strange design, I guess, increases the portability of it, which I actually do take that piece off in my bag. So, I, I like the portability. But what you saw there was you cannot pull it straight out of the charger like the Canon's battery. You have to use the push thing. So when you have the battery in there, you kind of like push up into the right on the side of the battery and it will come out all the way and then you can lift it up out of the charger. You don't have to push it that hard, but you can see there's a little clicker or um, snap connector right there and that'll snap in with your battery. So you, to get the way to get it out is you have to slightly push it up to the right. Weird design, if you don't like it, you can break it off. I don't want to break it because I don't it's I wanna keep the warranty for it. I think it has a warranty. And like I said, this is just for portability. But I it's not that big of a deal that I have to pop it off a little bit to the right. I guess it just increases its durability and that makes sure that the battery doesn't fall out all the way. When there's no battery in the charger, it will have a green light as you can see, indicated by the green light next to the charge icon or charge word, whatever you want to call that. And when you plug the battery in, it'll turn a reddish color. Here is the car charger. Untying it from the zip tie or... Uh, I don't know what that's called. Or maybe even on children's toys. They used to at least. I don't know. I don't buy children's toys anymore. But um, we'll just call it a zip tie for now. For the time being. Not that it really matters. Um, it has a strange feeling to it. If you, it, Nothing's wrong with it. It just... When you get it, you'll, you'll be like, wow, this feels weird. The cord feels kind of small for some reason. But it um, plugs into the top right there, as you can see, and it has a 3.5 millimeter like plug. It's not an actual 3.5 millimeter because those plug into headphone jacks, but it's sort of like that. And then that light I just showed you, that'll light up red, obviously, when it's plugged into a car and when it's getting power. So when your car's off, it most likely will not be red, but when your car turns on, it'll turn red, and then your charger will light up too to indicate how much charge the battery has. So... Uh, what I've shown you there is Canon batteries will work in the Wasabi charger and Wasabi batteries will work in the Canon charger so you can switch them up vice versa. That's about it for this review guys. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Check out my other videos. See you guys later.